If you're a PC gamer, there are tons of applications that can really help you out. But today, I got five applications that every PC gamer needs on their PC. And the best part is, they're all free. And if you stay to the very end of the video, then I'm going to reveal an application that you can use to actually get additional gaming performance completely free of charge. OK, so first up, we have an application called Vortex Nexus Mod Manager. I know it's a mouthful, but basically, if you're gaming on a PC, you need to be taking advantage of all the mods that are available. You can tweak and mod so many games until your heart's content and you're going to need an application to keep up with all of these mods and that's where vortex comes in the only downside i've seen the vortex so far is that you can't actually find and discover new mods within the application you always have to go to an external site like nexusmods.com to actually discover new mods and then you can download the mod files and use vortex to actually install those mods directly to your games and then you can manage which games have mods and what those mods are if you're into the modding scene which i think you should be then vortex nexus mod man Manager is definitely an app that you have to have on your PC. Next up, we have an application that I honestly feel just a little weird talking about simply because it's so popular, I feel like everyone already knows about it. But that application is Discord. Discord is an application that you can directly download to your Windows PC or your mobile phone, or they even have a website if you prefer that type of thing. Discord is the number one communication app for gamers. Basically, you can join a server or you can create your own server. All of these servers are completely invite only, so it kind of feels like you're joining some type of VIP program, which honestly, that's that's kind of cool. Essentially, the idea behind Discord is that a group of like-minded individuals can come together in one place and they can share ideas and they can communicate and build new friendships. And I think that PlayStation actually finally struck a deal with Discord, so this means you can be on PC and actually communicate with people on console. And that's very advantageous, especially with the implementation of crossplay. Oh, and one more thing about Discord. If you're interested in joining my Discord, a link will be in the description below. We would absolutely love to have you. So come be a part of the E-Rock community, especially if you're a subscriber on this channel. Next up, we have your dedicated GPU driver software. Now, for most of you, this is going to be GeForce experience because most of you have have Nvidia graphics cards. But for the AMD gamers out there, you also have a piece of software called Radeon Software Adrenaline, and it essentially does the exact same thing as GeForce Experience, except it's dedicated to AMD graphics cards. The idea behind both of these applications is that instead of having to go out to a website and manually download drivers for your GPU, you can automatically be notified by the application on your desktop. And for those of you who may not be aware, no, your Windows updates does not count as the driver updates for your graphics card. Your graphics card needs standalone dedicated driver updates in order to perform at its peak for all the latest and greatest games. Now, it's no secret that the biggest flaw or at least one of the biggest flaws for PC gaming is simply the amount of launchers you need in order to play video games. There's literally a launcher for just about everything, but that's where GOG Galaxy or GOG Galaxy comes in. GOG Galaxy is your one-stop shop for managing all of your games on your PC. Instead of having to go to each individual launcher every time you're looking for a game, you can go to GOG Galaxy and find all of your games in one dedicated space. And then once you hit play game, it will automatically launch the corresponding launcher in the background. The other cool thing about GOG Galaxy is it has a built-in store which connects to GOG or goodoldgames.com. You can actually see all the games on there and you can often get discounted games. So that's actually pretty cool. And in addition to that, you can see all of your activity for your games, such as hours played and achievements unlocked. And in addition to everything else that I just listed, GOG Galaxy looks awesome. It's very clean. It's very simple. It's a modern UI, and I'm a big fan of the design. It's very user friendly, and it even allows you to keep track of your Xbox and PlayStation library. So that's actually very useful and also very unique. I highly recommend checking out this application. Now, I told you if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I was going to give you an an application that would actually help you get free gaming performance. The name of the application is MSI Afterburner. I love MSI Afterburner for so many reasons, but the number one reason is the simple fact that you can use MSI Afterburner to overclock your GPU 
for free and it's completely safe. And when you do an overclock, that means you're getting more performance in all of your games. That means more FPS all across the board. In fact, I even did a full tutorial on how to do this. You can actually click the link in the cue card above and it will take you to the tutorial and teach you how to use MSI Afterburner to overclock your GPU completely free of charge, completely safe, and you will get more gaming performance starting today. Lastly, you can also use MSI Afterburner to monitor all of your different stats, like your GPU usage, your CPU usage, your temperatures, and even your frame rate. So this is a very robust application, and I highly recommend using it. And for some reason, YouTube keeps screaming at me and telling me to tell you that this video right here, over here to the right, is the number one most recommended video specifically for for you so I think I think you need to click it but hit the like button here first so hit the like and then go click that video all right until next time you e rock out